thank you so much for coming early um, and thank you so much for your support for my products that allowed me to get some new things that are really really cool so last year we did the station and that has been a huge huge sit hit um, totally exceeded my expectations so thank you for that um, so that allowed me to do this little cutie pie here the um, seven inch make art station so the cuteness factor is off the chart for this thing um, I had some ladies yesterday walk by when I was demoing and I was talking to them they're like no no we don't do anything with paper crafts we we do yarn but we're going to get it. I said, well, what are you going to do with it? And they're like, we don't know, but it's so cute. We're going to yeah. get it. And once we get it at home, we'll figure it out. And I'm like, okay, good for you. <laughs> Let me know what you do. So I thought that was so fun, so funny. So um, the station is just a, a miniature version of the original station. So same solid construction, same nice grid surface. Um, back is finished. Same magnets, right? Same size? Huh? Same size magnets. Yes, I was just going to say that. Uh, when we went to the smaller size, they said, would you like smaller magnets? And I said, you know what, yeah, I think that'd be cute. Well, they sent them and it was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't want them. I want these. These are perfect. They were smaller. They looked like this, but not. they were not strong enough then. So these, in my mind, are perfect. So this is what comes in the box. You're um, just like the original, the board, the magnets, and then the little ruler, if I could find that. That's over on there. You can see that. So that's that's what this is. Um, Ranger's always trying to make improvements and make things better so you will notice that the surface is a little more shiny, it's a little more protected, has a little more coating on here. Um, I still don't want to get archival ink on here. If I'm going to use archival ink or paint or something messy that needs to be cleaned up with a, a hard cleaner, um, you have the option for the 9 inch craft sheet. Um, and people asked yesterday, why don't you have a seven inch craft sheet? And, the re and I asked the same thing. And the reason is um, the seven inch one was like two cents cheaper than this one. So it was just like totally that would be ripping people off. So it was like ridiculous. So I would take, if, I, if that bothered me, I would just take this and cut it and make it seven inches, not a big deal. But if you leave it nine inches, you can use it on both. So I would probably leave it. So that's the cutie pie. <clears throat> I love it. All right. Um, and so then I wanted acrylic rulers, um, and for a couple reasons. The, those rulers get dirty when you get archival ink on, you can't clean them, so they look a little bit sloppy, which bugs me. Um, and they're not, they weren't thick enough for some, times I wanted to add some layers or, or some thicker pieces on there, and it went right over the top of the ruler. So it's nice that these are clear. They're centering ruler, they're, uh, they're inches in metric. Um, and the magnets are really super strong. So we did the seven inch for the small station and the 12 inch for the um, original. And you can pick up the whole station by the magnets. That's how strong they are. Because I said that they have to be really, really good. They can't be like marginal. They have to be perfect. And, uh, and there's days I can't, can't get this off of here. It's like I have to slide it off the edge to pick it up and get my finger underneath it. So that's really, really a helpful tool. So I talked about the um, craft sheet. The other thing that, the other way you can protect your station is with the silicone mat, and this is really a cool tool. You can use our uh, alcohol inks on here, and it doesn't stain it, which I was kind of surprised about. Um, and so people have asked me, like, does it bother you that your station moves on the craft sheet? And I said, I guess I'm so used to it. I don't. That little bit of movement doesn't bother me. But then when I got the silicone mat, I thought, oh, this will be cool. This will be what people want to keep their station stationary. So when I put it on here, it moves. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, that's, it, I want it to work. So what, what will make this work? And it's a simple solution. Put your station down, move it around a little bit, and you can see now it's, there's friction on it or tension or something, and it, now it's pretty stable. <laughs> so that's, that's the quick fix for that. So now it, it really doesn't move a lot. But if I take it up and put it down again, it's going to move again. Very interesting, isn't it? So this is really a cool thing. The other thing is if I'm going to do something messy or if I'm going to stencil maybe with archival this time and I don't want to get archival on my um, station, you can put the silicone mat over the top. You can still see the grid and the magnets still work through here. That's how good the magnets are. So this, this is a cool add-on, I think. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? What's next? Okay, I'll talk about stamps. I'll talk about the stamp positioner last because I could talk for days about that. Um, we did replacement magnets so that you have the option now on the original station, you could work on two cards at one time. So if maybe something's drying here, all I have to do is turn this and now I have another spot I could work on my card, on a different card, so that's pretty cool. Um, stamp stencil die sets, just like last year, they're $14.95. Quality is excellent. 
So stamps on the first page, dies, and then there's the stencils. Same way with this one. This is such a cute flourish. These, these pieces are just, everything is mix and match. Um, and then they all coordinate with the sets that we did last year. So if you have the sets, you can just add these to your collection. And now you have a lot more options for mixing and matching things and making your last year's set look better and different. So there's the stencils for that guy. And this one here has a lot of detail on that flower. People always wonder if clear stamps, how they stamp. And look at the detail on that. It's perfect. And so there is the dies, and then there's the stencil. And then this one is shocking. When my husband unpacked the box, he's like, I don't know if they sent you somebody else's stamp, but this doesn't have flowers on it. I'm like, no, that is mine. It's the birthday stamp set. Everybody makes birthday cards. So this is really a fun one. Got some little bit kind of snarky comments. Yikes, you're old. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then there's the dies, and then there's the stencil. So you have confetti, and you can ink the cake one layer and then add um, different colors to the layers. So I think that's, that's, that's been fun, too. All right, what else didn't I tell you about? I'm going to talk liquid pearls. Those are new for this show, too. So we did carnation red, orange blossom, sunflower, prickly pear, good enough to eat, um, cornflower, and violet. So that's what they look like. And I use them with these stylus. So this comes in a two pack, a white and a black, and there's four different tips on here so that you can make four different size dots. And the way I use these, um, I don't, don't put my liquid pearls on here, I'll put it on my craft sheet, and it does not take very much. And now you have the option to make your dots consistent and perfect every single time. So if you just dip your stylus in here, dip it into the liquid pearls, your dots are consistent. So the nice thing about this is if you're doing a make and take at your store, that's going to be the last thing you add to your card. And now these will dry in two minutes, three minutes. So you don't have to worry about people, you know, walking out the door and hoping that they don't ruin their card and then they're mad at you because they did. So that's been really fun. And it's like perfect. Um, for the candle, that's really a cute one too. If you put down some liquid pearls, <clears throat> And if you dip into it and then kind of flick it up, it creates a flame. I'll do it with a bigger one. Maybe you can see it better. So it kind of dipping kind of it makes a, like a little flame. You can also do that like for flower centers for the stamen. So that's kind of another way to use these guys. And what else did I talk about? Play some Megan's this, that, 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 that. This perfect is pretty card. label, I see. Yeah, perfect card adhesive. I love that stuff. I've got a new label. Yeah. Um, people asked about that before. That's why I put it up. I have never had one person say that they had it clog. Not one person ever. So for me, that is huge because there's nothing more annoying than you're ready to do it and it's like, oh, now I have to stop. Annoying, right? Not one person. I tell everybody in my classes, if you ever have a problem, you let me know. And they don't. There's not one. So I love that stuff. It doesn't wrinkle your paper. It dries completely matte. And you can do techniques with it. Cool. So it, act, it will act as a resist. Okay. Um, one little thing with the liquid pearls too, I wanted to show you this. So I showed you the, stent, the confetti stencil on the birthday set. So I stenciled it with jet black archival across the whole piece and then I went back on just half of it and added the um, liquid pearl dots on there and look at the big difference it makes. It's a whole lot better. This flower is from Stampers Anonymous. So it's a very cute flower, but look what happens when you add that dot to the center. It really defines the flower. It just makes it look so much better, a simple little dot. So I like that. You can put them on brads. I put them on fingernails. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. And then the next thing, like this is like, this costs $14.95, and I would pay $50 for it without even thinking about it now that I have it. So <clears throat> if you've seen a, a stamp positioner with no magnets on it, if you're going to position your stamp and if you bump this thing, to me, I'd never understood the purpose of it. You know, yes, I know I can hold it down, but I need two hands sometimes. I either want to <laughs> answer my phone, do this, that, you know. So for me, the key is having magnets on here. This thing is so strong, you can, I can pick up the small station with it. That's how strong the magnets are. So for me, that, that was really key. So are you familiar with how they work with red, rubber stamps? You guys know that? Okay. 
so I won't show you that part of it. But so people, see, I can't even get this off. You kind of have to slide it up. That's how nice the magnets are. So that's cool. Um, so why would I want a stamp positioner when I have clear stamps when I can see where I'm stamping, right? So it's like, why do I need those? I'm going to show you why. So if I have my background done, and I'm going to start working on my card assembly. So if I put my pieces on here, now these are my little die cuts. It's like, okay, I like that. So now I need to start adding some fillers. So if I take a stamp here now, and you want to make sure the stamp is clean. You need this piece here for a red rubber stamp. When you're doing the clear, you can get by without it. It makes it even easier. So this stamp, well, you want to be clean. So it's like, okay, I want it right about there. Okay, so I'll put that on my block. <clears throat> get my die cuts out of the way. And it's like, now where did I want this stamped, right? Did I want it here? Did I want it here? Do I want it like this with the bird? No, right? So here's, what, here's where this thing comes in so handy. So again, I'll put my die cuts on here. Get my little arrangement done. Put my clean stamp wherever I want it. So if I want it right there. Okay, so now all I have to do is put my corner piece on here and you want it holding the paper, but not on the die cuts. Okay, so now this system works always corner to corner. That's why this block only has one corner, so you can never lose your orientation. That corner has to go in that corner. So now if I pick it up, get my die cuts out of the way, when I stamp, it's gonna be stamped perfectly every time. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I love this thing. Like I said, I would pay $50 for it <laughs> without even, I would, now that I have it. You know, just little things, and a lot of times, I don't know why, I, like, I'll put it down, put a card down, line it up on the grid, you know, do some, put my magnets on here, do something, take it off again, do that several times, and it's like, with this thing I found the other day, <clears throat> I could just put this down, I can do my card right there very easily. So I know it's straight every time, and it's really quick that way. Thanks for watching this video that was filmed in Phoenix, Arizona at AFCI's 2020 Creativation event. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.